Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. Um, this time of year, I normally do a start of season update on every orchid I've got. Um, and in the past, I've always tried to do an end of season update and compare the two. Well, I've got plans to make that work this year, but um, I do have a limitation. I've just done a quick calculation with a calculator because my brain doesn't do maths. If I've got about 210 orchids and I allowed like 15 seconds per orchid, which is not a lot to say the state of play, number of canes, number of new growths, that sort of thing, you know, that does limit me a bit, but you're still looking at well over an hour's worth of video. So um, in the past when I've done this, I mean one particular time when I tried to film every single orchid, it, it took nine videos, most of which were around the half an hour mark or, or greater. And it's too much. Um, there's too much of my time. And I keep forgetting it's probably too much of your time as well to actually watch them. Yeah? So I am going to really limit myself this year. Um, now at some point during this week, every single orchid will need watering. And even if it doesn't get watered, it'll get picked up and looked at to see if it needs watered. So I have an opportunity this week to at least get that process well underway, if not finished. Now the finished articles, however many videos it'll take, um, I want the plants in the order they are in my notes. Because when I get to the other end of the season, that's going to make life very easy for me. And the way I'm going to do it this time is the um, start of season updates will be video clips. But I'm going to make a point of holding the camera still during each filming of each orchid so that I can take a snapshot of it, which will become a still. Yeah? And then that can become a pop-up at the end of the season. Yeah? So that should work quite easy and, and won't be too time consuming to do at the other end of the season because that's the what these these short clips will not take me long i actually timed myself the other day um the length of the video the filming is the length of the video you know if you do a half an hour video for me it takes half an hour to film it i don't do multiple takes if i get my worms wrong <laughs> then it stays in there I don't have scripts, I don't muck about, there's no preparation, I pick the camera up and I film. So a half an hour video for me takes half an hour to film. Simples. And for a video with no pop-ups or titles of plants or pop-ups of blooms, just a simple video, me chatting away and rabbiting like I do, takes me two minutes to put together. Two minutes. And that includes downloading the clip or clips off the camera because that's fast on my computer and that's it that's all I do plug the camera in download the clips into a folder put them in my special place load my software load up my start bit which has got my introduction edit the heading to the title of the video it's got my watermark and my end bit in drag the clips into place tidy up everything so that it lines up and it's done it takes that short amount of time for me to do my videos. I know some people think I'm spending all day mucking about with videos. Well, I'm not. The actual putting them together takes me hardly any time at all. And if I need to a, a title, all I do is drag in a dummy title, type the words on it, and click Save. If I want a pop-up, they're in a known place. I just go to that place, find the plant I want, drag it in, size it, save. You know, I can literally do it as fast as I'm saying it. So putting my videos together does not take me long. <clears throat> so uh, don't worry about me spending all day with a camera in my hand. I don't. I am at the moment, yes. But anyway, I'm going to start the uh, start of season updates. That doesn't mean you won't get anything else. You know, new blooms opening, stuff like that. That, that, that will still be going on. Um, there isn't anything today. <laughs> well, nothing new anyway, nothing that I didn't film recently, let's put it that way. Um, and today it's mounts and holy clay pots. Um, and as I do those plants, I will film them. 
that's those out of the way. And then depending on the weather, I might get away with not doing the mounts tomorrow, in which case I'll start on my other pots, which is the bulk. Um, although there are a lot of mounts. <laughs> um, put the mounts and the holy clay pots together and that's probably well over a third of my orchids. Well, between a quarter and a third, something like that. So that I'll have done a fair few by the end of today. <clears throat> but I want to put the videos together in the order they are in my notes to make it easy for me. Yeah? It does mean it will get a bit boring in sections depending on your own personal interests. Because when we get to D and we get to dendrobiums, it's going to go on a bit because I've got a few. Over a quarter of my orchids are dendrobiums. But I don't like them, you know, I, I just keep them for the sake of it. Don't like them at all, really. You know, I don't like, don't, don't like any of this, really. Really don't like them at all. <laughs> I just don't like dendrobiums. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like hell. They are my favourites, by far. Um, and if you look at the others, if you go into the uh, Oncidiums and Intergenerics, that accounts for probably another third of my orchid collection and then what's left is all sorts literally all sorts sometimes i've only got one representative of a genera just the one but uh, i'll get through them and we'll see how we go so uh, i shall start that filming today so this this is just a chat really um that's all it is is a bit of information on what's to come and um I think when we get to the end of the season this year, it's going, to, it's going to be quite good to actually really compare the plants properly, to actually film the plant as it is, with the pop-up of how it looked at this time of year in April, and, and just quickly talk about how well it's done or how poorly it's done, whether I've even still got it or dumped it. <laughs> You know, I, I can't, I can't imagine for one minute that every single plant that's in here now is still going to be with me in seven or eight months' time. Nobody's that good. <laughs> I'm going to lose the odd one, or I may sell some off. I've still got that clear out in my mind, so some that are here now might not be here because somebody else has got them. You know, that, that plan is still in there. Um, so I'll see how I get on, and, and, and if I do spot anything today, uh, I'll see how I do. But I will probably do to today's proper video with plants in it as a holy clay pot update. Um, they seem popular, people like to see how those are doing. And they are the exception in here, they're the closest I've got to mounted orchids that are in a pot, because of the sheer amount of air in around those roots. Um, my other pots are more traditional pots with more traditional media in, whereas the holy clay pots do, they act more like a mount, quite honestly. You pour water in there and, and the biggest part of it runs straight out again, you know, and then you come back and do it a couple of days later and they seem to like it like that. So uh, I'll do a quick update on those today as I'm watering them anyway and uh, I'll film as much as I can. You won't see that for a while. Um, the first video you will see of the start of season updates will start at A with my Arengus. Those are the only A's I've got, you know, and then we'll move from there. So until I've got far enough in, which will probably be A, B and C, because when I get to D, it's going to slow me down a bit, <laughs> trying to get the D done. Because it's not only dendrobiums, there's some other D's lurking in there as well. So, uh, yeah, that might slow me down a bit. <laughs> and then when we get to O and we get to the Oncidiums and Intergenerics, that will slow me down again. But, yeah, I want to keep them um, in that order. So once I've got enough to get the first one posted, we'll, uh, we'll get one of those up. And the chances are they'll get posted every couple of days until they're all, until they're all done, basically. And uh, we'll see where we go from there. But my idea of doing this bit hasn't changed much apart from really keeping each clip for each plant separate and short and named and then tucked away so that I can drag them out again at the end of the season and I'll know what I'm doing this time instead of trying to guess and hopefully it'll work well this year um, I've always had these plans I've been trying to do this for several years but this year I plan on making that work and and be worthwhile if you know what I mean so we'll see how we get on
And um, I'll see you next time. This is just a chat, and uh, any any proper orchid videos I'll uh, I'll post later in the day, and we'll see how we get on. So thanks for dropping by. See you next time.